uh, in a matter of a couple of weeks. Lieutenant Governor. Uh, once Dennis Slattery from Newsday. Or no, I'm sorry, Daily News, I'm sorry. That's a big mistake to make, sorry there. Dennis in the room? Okay. Hearing none? Can't hear you. Okay. Dennis Slattery, is he in the room? I can't see that. Dennis. Uh, it has been about 24 hours. I'm meeting with all the cabinet officials in the next few days, and I'll be making those decisions shortly, and I'll be happy to announce them in two weeks. Also, we're looking for Dan Clark from PBS Now. Um, in the report, the AG's report, several members of the governor's staff were implicated in trying to discredit the women that accused him of sexual harassment. Are you planning on keeping any of them around? Is it fair to say that those will be gone? No one has named who is named as anything, doing anything unethical in the report will remain in my administration. Uh, Chris Horvathis from uh, WIBB and Channel 4 in Buffalo. The word toxic has been used to describe the work environment in the executive chamber, so to follow up on what's been asked, uh, do you agree or take issue with that term being used to describe it, and to what extent, given that fact, uh, do you see the need to cast turnover? Oh, there'll be turnover. There'll be turnover, and that is the description from many witnesses in the Attorney General's report. I think it's very clear that the governor and I have not been close, um, physically or otherwise, in terms of uh, much time. And so I've been traveling the state and do not spend much time uh, in his presence or in the presence of many in the state capitol. But that is what has been re being reported. And I'm going to stand right here. At the end of my term, whenever it ends, no one will ever describe my administration as a toxic work environment. Karen DeWitt from 